Welcome to today's video. I would like to show you how to install Paperless NGX on your Synology NAS using only Container Manager. There are a lot of tutorials out there showing you how to install Paperless NGX on your Synology NAS, but all I found were using a third-party software to compose the Docker with all the needed components. And I don't like to do this. So I looked for a way to do it just with the software container manager that comes with your Synology NAS. First, I'd like to show you the hardware and software components I use to realize this project. I have a Synology Disk Station 923 Plus with the latest DSM version at the time I produced this video. And on this NAS I installed Container Manager, again in the latest version. And then I pulled three Docker images. The first one obviously is Paperless NGX. The second one is Readers. That is one that is necessary to make Paperless work either way. And the third one is Postgres. This is an alternative robust SQL database that can be used with Paperless NGX. Paperless NGX comes with SQLite in the first place, but I found through testing that the database is multiple times locked when you try to import multiple files at once. Here you can see the configuration overview. This slide shows all the adjustments that you need to make to the containers during the installation process to make paperless work with Postgres database. If you're an experienced user, you can stop the video now and make all the necessary adjustments on your own. If not, don't worry, I will hop into Disk Station Manager and show you all the adjustments necessary step by step. After logging into your Disk Station Manager, you need to open Container Manager. Then click on Registration and search for the names of the images you want to pull. Remember, First one is Readers. Select Readers and click Download if you haven't already done this. Then search for Paperless and download the Paperless NGX image. And last but not least, search for Postgres and download the Postgres image. After downloading all the images, you click on Image, and now you can see all the downloaded images, including Readers, Paperless, and Postgres. Now we need to create the containers themselves. Click on Readers to select it, and then click Execute, or Ausführen, as it says on my screen. In a configuration window, in the first step, don't change anything. In the second step, you need to select the local port that is applicable to your NAS, that is free at your NAS, that will be redirected to the Docker internal port 6379. Then, further down, you have to select the network. Select Host and then you can click on OK to install the container. I already did this, so I will close the configuration window and proceed with the next container. Proceed in the same way with the Postgres container. Click Execute. Do not change anything in the first window. Assign your local port and then scroll down and add the shown configurations to your environment. You 
remember that the username and the password are set when the database launches for the first time. Keep bridge as your network, hit OK, and then you're done with the Postgres container. Before starting with the paperless container, you want to make sure that you know about your user map user ID and user map group ID. With all the necessary information at hand, you can start configuring your paperless NGX container. Hit execute, do not change anything in the first window, and then configure your local port first. Then you need to make adjustments to the volume part. Add volumes as shown. Hit Add Folder, select the folder you want to add, and then add the path as shown. Scroll further down and then you need to add a few environmental things as shown. Keep bridge as your network, hit OK, and then let your NAS install paperless NGX. By clicking on container, you can see all your installed Docker containers. You can also see if they are up and running or if they are down. Make sure that the dots on the left side of your containers are all green. If you encounter a problem starting paperless NGX, make sure that you start Redis and Postgres before starting paperless NGX itself. After navigating to your NAS IP address and adding the port to the IP address, paperless should open. If not, Wait one or two minutes to let the installation finish and paperless start and doing all the first startup work. Afterwards, you can log in with your set credentials. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I would like to hear your thoughts about this tutorial down in the comment section.